Huawei Mate 60 Pro and how to get better video. You might have seen lots of videos about my Huawei Mate 60 Pro, especially also some people are immediately identifying the video where I'm using the Mate 60 Pro because I have a reddish kind of face on the videos there. And in contrast to all the other devices that I have, maybe with exception to some of the Honor devices, that is really true. So last time I checked out the Honor Magic 6 Pro and how to make the video better there. And the trick was enabling HDR. So I thought, how about enabling HDR here on the Mate 60 Pro. And this is what you see right now. And I think it has way better face color now with HDR Vivid that we have here as a mode on the Mate 60 Pro. So what do you think about the HDR Vivid here on the Mate 60 Pro? And I will show you now with the Mate X3 how to enable HDR Vivid in the camera setting of the Mate 60 Pro. To enable HDR Vivid, you have to go into your settings and then you can choose HDR Vivid here under the video sections uh, or video settings and by default it's turned off I think and you can turn it on and then you are recording in HDR Vivid. Now let's turn it off and let's compare how it looks like with uh, HDR Vivid turned off. So now we have basically the same situation as before, so the sun directly shining on my face and now I have HDR Vivid turned off and this is what you get in terms of video here. Of course I will do also a side-by-side -side, um, uh, yeah, comparison between the HDR Vivid turned on and HDR Vivid turned off just to see if we see some differences in terms of colors and so on. But what do you think about this one here? And yes, it's a variable aperture and the variable aperture is set to f2 as far as I can see it here from uh, because it's like a little bit close and usually it is like going to f2 when it comes to uh, the video mode. And I'm walking in towards uh, the shadow here to see how the face color change, how all other things around me change here. It's 4K 30 frames per second that I'm recording. So what do you think about the quality and how does it compare to the uh, HDR Vivid recording? So when we check out the video, we can see on the left the HDR video, uh, much nicer colors in general on my face. And on the right, the SDR color, you can see a little bit of more red in my face and I think a bit more over sharp and look at my eyebrows and the, the um, hair over sharpened a little bit. More contrasty, look at the back, you can see it's basically the same kind of uh, position almost and uh, yeah much more contrasty kind of look a bit more punchy colors there which we don't have on the hdr version which is i think quite nice and this you will see all over the place there much more warmish kind of color because the sun was shining on my face and the sun is usually yellow so it makes sense to have my skin like this but this here is much yeah, too red kind of that we have here and uh, when we go and take a look at here, you can see HDR is also fine on both. Um, don't see an issue there with this. It's just a bit more contrasty on the SDR version. And uh, when we go a bit further there, you can see also how uh, nice they are playing with shadows, much darker shadows again on the SDR version, a bit more lifted shadows there on the um, HDR version. We have a bit, when we go in here, overexposure on the SDR version where it like is not handling it correctly where the um, HDR version is handling it way way better there and when we go into the dark there you can see that uh, clearly we have a bit more shadow but also more details there on the uh, left but you can see how much like it's lifting up the shadows a bit maybe a bit too much here we have a bit of a sharpened look and a bit of yeah, noise already creeping in because it's over sharpening so much on the HDR version we don't have this so much it's not doing it so much but the skin is quite smooth there and uh, yeah which one do you prefer I have to say I really prefer the uh, HDR version converted then to SDR uh, much better the face color uh, than the uh, SDR version there but what do you think so how do I get this HDR Vivid converted into SDR so that you can see it here on YouTube, for example, in yeah, SDR quality, because most of the people that are watching my videos don't have HDR 
uh, monitor or screen so you just go into the video you can see HDR vivid there on the top right corner and what I have to do is just go into your settings now I don't have to go to any editor and you can see convert to compatible format and if I choose this it will automatically start converting this video to SDR which is quite nice and working yeah quite good so what do you think about the results here in terms of getting a better video out of your Huawei device maybe I will try it also with my Mate X3 that I'm recording here with right now to see how good this is really now recording with the Mate X3 as a little bit of a bonus here because we also have HDR Vivid that we can enable here this one has a little bit of a smaller uh, sensor I think and uh, yeah still it should be working very fine and I like it very much for vlogging because yeah when I have it closed up I have a very great grip on it which helps with or aids with stabilization but if I open it up I have the possibility to use the outer screen as a vlogging monitor so I can see myself which is also quite good because then I can show you uh, stuff real close and uh, can align and position myself a little bit better than what I can do here blindly just by yeah feeling uh, basically of the uh, lens and sensor so what do you think about HDR vivid recording on Huawei devices is it really improving the colors of your skin especially is it not too red what do you think write down in the comments that's it until the next time bye